Good morning everybody. Should have an adventure of a hunt today, if nothing else. I'm back in Virginia now and it's early goose season here. So this morning we are headed out to the river to actually try something that we've never done on the river before and that's setting up decoys. We are gonna be doing a float today. We've done these the last couple of years, you know, float point A to point B and try and pass shoot or jump shoot some geese. But Drew and I got out here on the stretch of river last weekend and found one pocket of birds that were hanging out on this grass mat that I think should be flying into the spot. Uh, the issue with these geese, the reason we haven't set up decoys before is that these geese just don't do a lot, a whole lot of flying. There's no cut fields in this area this time of year. So they're just kind of moving around the river and typically they're just roosting wherever the wherever their food source is. So we're gonna see if we can do this for an hour or two, set up decoys, and then, then we'll head down the river and see what else we can get into. It's gonna be four of us today. Uh, Drew's buddies, Brent and Cody are coming and then Drew and myself. Should be interesting, should be a good time. Looking forward to meeting these guys and hunting with them. And yeah, gonna hit the road here cause we need to get on the water here before too long. So y'all stay tuned and hopefully we get on them. You guys should see this bear shit up here. What is that? That's gonna be Probably coon. coon. Yeah, is it got a bunch of persimmon? Yeah. Or not persimmon. Uh, pawpaw seeds in it? Something like it. Huh. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ah. That's probably all we need. I'm trying him. Try Take him! Grab one of these guys. Oh, hey, right here, right oh. here, right here. Hey. I gotta reload. It's a single. No, no, no. More. Oh, yeah. Take him. Take him. Oh, more, more, more. Take him. Ooh. They got a couple out of that one. I knew they were gonna move quick. I didn't think they were gonna move that quick. Oh yeah. I was hoping they would come maybe like a minute or two apart, not 10 seconds apart. Yeah. Beggars can't be choosers though. Hey, we got a free decoy raft. That's gotta be an old old kayak or something, isn't it? Yeah, some sort of work. Well, we picked our decoys up, gave it about an hour and a half. Of course, all the birds came at one time as y'all saw, but we ended up with six, so can't complain about that. We started our float. We're getting into the first big rock garden down through here. This river splits into a bunch of different channels through here. So we just stopped, talked, we pulled up Onyx, talked about a plan. And Drew's going to take the left side. Me, Cody, and Brent are going to take the right side because there's some different fingers in here. And there should be some birds in here. When we scouted, there was like, I don't know, 100, 200 birds down through here. So quite a few. And yeah, hopefully they'll let us get up on them. The only problem with this rock garden is it can get really shallow. So it can get pretty tough to sneak through here, but we're going to give it our best shot. That's not good. <laughs>
Man, I whiffed so hard. <laughs> that was bad on my part. Plenty of goose sign through here. Pretty much every damn rock. That should be the end of the really shallow portion. See some birds getting up down here right now. Drew might be pushing these up. I'm gonna go get behind this rock here. little bit high there birds are coming back over now I think most of them are gonna stay too high though never know we're gonna try it they're all just a little bit tall well, that got pretty action-packed for a minute there. There's mo way more geese in here than I thought there was gonna be. My shooting is just a little bit off on these birds. Oh gosh. Man, those two came out of nowhere. I never even heard them make a peep until they were right there in my face. Whew. They were close too. Those were some of the closest shots I've had coming through this rock garden. I think they were trying to come in right where I was sitting and I surprised them a little bit. Whew. Took a couple shots, but I think, I think I hit him in a longer sign because it looked like he was sailing and then get down here and he's flat out dead what happened with them birds that were down there did y'all get a crack at them uh, okay that's why because they kept then they circled around and then came right over me they did not want to leave this they didn't want to leave this one rock garden Could have gone a lot worse. We got a goose coming right at us. Where? Single goose coming right at us. Like flying at us? Yep. Yeah. Don't even believe uh, He's headed off. Kill, kill him. I'd kill him. Kill him. Right. Oh gosh! <laughs> Holy smokes!
little guy here. That might be the craziest thing we've seen all day. <laughs> I was watching that back bird. I was like, he's not going to do it. And then he started looping back around and the rest just followed. Well, we got a nice little beach here, so I'm going to take a little mid-float break. Looks like the geese have found this thing too. Well, we had a few tracks right here. What do you think so far, Drew? Um, really good float so far. A little bit of trouble in the rock gardens, just coordinating things. But uh, besides that, really good. We had a couple flocks that made up for it that made some poor life choices. Um, we'll see what the rest of the float brings, but I'm pretty happy so far. I never even noticed that feeder over there before. Yeah. I think I see him. If you look over the island, I think there's one that you can see. I see them right there. They're on the rock. Hopefully this isn't poison ivy. Let's try and do the, basically the same thing we did on that last flock, except just spread out a little more. We'll have kind of one guy try and get up above him to block him, and one guy get below him, and then two guys in the middle. That worked out just about perfect. Did they come over you pretty good? Yeah. I gonna say, I was just, I was looking back, I was worried that you were a little too far up, but then they fly, it looked like they came right they over came the top right of you. About they half were a little bit gave behind me, a, me. Gave me a 30 yard shot. Nice. It's crazy, they don't, they don't mind anything until you pick up the gun. As soon as I pulled the gun up, they were like, oh, nope, we gotta get out of here. Well, we made it off the water with no lost gear and no flipped kayaks today, so got to consider that a heck of a success in itself. We finished the day with 33 birds as a group. I personally brought home nine big honkers, so quite the meat haul. I'm going to be making quite a bit of burger and sausage here really soon. Did want to touch on a couple things before we wrap this one up. First off, I felt like this was a hunt where you could see a lot of good teamwork and just kind of progress as a group. Uh, at the start of the morning, I felt like uh, Cody, Brent, myself, and Drew were kind of all on just a little bit different wavelengths in terms of what to expect and how we were going to approach this hunt. Took a couple shots that I think in hindsight we might have not taken. And then as the day went on, we had some good communication, talked through some things, and by the end of the day, I felt like we were really all on the same page. And I felt like that showed in that last jump that we did. And the second thing I wanted to touch on is that um, if you are looking to do a float like this yourself, I'd really highly recommend doing as much scouting on the section of river as you can. Uh, this is not our first time going down the section of river. Me and Drew scouted this last weekend and we also were out here last year and still I made a pretty big mistake today. Uh, just kind of over calculated how much weight I could take on and how much water I would get in my boat. You know, having those decoys in there and then a bunch of geese, I didn't really take that into account. And then also I was taking a lot of waves over the kayak throughout the day. So by the time we were almost, by the time we were getting to our launch, um, I was in a, a pretty tight spot. It wasn't dangerous, you know, as warm as it was, had my life vest on and everything, but something to keep in mind. So if you are gonna, you know, do a float like this yourself, just take into account how much weight you can take, um, you know, the fact that you're probably gonna be putting geese in your boat or birds in your boat, 
and then you know scope out those rapids as best you can but i do have uh one other question before we wrap this one up and that's do you guys enjoy these uh water goose hunts or do you enjoy field goose hunts like the ones i did in north dakota more uh, i'm going to keep on doing both types of hunts but i am interested to know uh what you like to see more so that's just something if you like to leave in the comment section below i'd definitely be interested here and i'd appreciate it and if you have any questions about this hunt uh leave in the comment section and i'll be sure to get back to you if you do enjoy goose hunting waterfowl hunting and you aren't already subscribed to my channel i'd really appreciate if you click that subscribe button gonna have quite a bit quite a few more uh, goose hunts coming here in september hopefully so you won't want to miss out on those i hope everybody out there is staying safe god bless and thanks for watching